Now, you'd think lithium would be doing great right now, but check out Piedmont Lithium. It is now a revenue-generating company after commencing customer shipments last quarter, but management saying, quote, uh, results were materially impacted by the 45% drop in lithium prices in Q3. Obviously, they're not the only ones feeling the pain of that. Shares of other lithium players like Albemarle also taking a hit over the past four months. And as signs point to slowing EV demand, lithium is a key component in those batteries. Could there be more pain ahead, or is it priced in now? Joining us in an exclusive interview is Keith Phillips, CEO and president of Piedmont Lithium. Keith, good to see you. Welcome. Kelly, great to be with you again. Best of times, worst of times to be in the electric vehicle business or supply chain. Yeah, listen, we're pretty happy. I, I heard the lead-in uh, on your, your other uh, commentator. I mean, the good news is shipments are important. We had our first two shipments in Q3. We had a 50% gross margin in Q3 on our shipments. So even with lithium prices off dramatically, we're very fortunate to be cash flow positive from those shipments and excited to move forward. And the business is, I mean, we're still in kind of nascent stages here. How? What's the vision? Listen, I would say the whole lithium thematic is in the third inning, maybe, uh, of a nine-inning game, the EV and lithium thematic. It's It's been lumpy. We've been up and down as an industry, EV, EV sales, EV demand, lithium prices. We're in a point where lithium prices are actually off probably 75% from their peak. Wow. But they're still at a level where companies like us can be profitable. Uh, but we're very big believers in the thematic. I mean, we think EV demand is at all-time highs, up 38% this year, up 40% in the U.S. Uh, we think you're going to see, just you know, given what's going on in the economy with higher rates, uh, capital cost inflation and projects, I think you'll see some of the battery and EV plants delayed a little bit by the big providers, but they're going to come. I think it's an unstoppable trend, uh, and we want to be a big participant in that. You know, watching commodity markets over the past 15 years or so, it it strikes me how volatile and overall generally how un, unmoved in the long run commodity prices themselves are. And then the businesses, their fortunes kind of rise or fall on their own productivity. I guess uh, maybe there's a better word to choose there. Um, but explain how, you know, wherever the price of lithium fluctuates going forward, what do you really think is the key component to delivering a solid return for investors who might be getting involved with your company at this stage? Well, you need to own high quality assets that are low cost producers in their business. So we have uh, an asset in, in Quebec. We're a joint venture partner with Sayana Mining. It's the biggest lithium producer in North America. We own 25% of that project. We're also the biggest customer of that project. We buy 50% or more of the material. And we buy that on terms that enable us to be quite profitable. So we're very very happy with that. Our other assets, similarly, Ghana will be, uh, there's a spodumene project we're developing with a partner in Ghana. That will be a very low cost producer. And then we believe our downstream projects in Tennessee and North Carolina will be world-class and being based in the Southeast will be very, very competitive. So in a commodity business, it's really important to have good assets in good locations with good cost positions to be able to weather the cycle and to be there when the markets turn back as they will uh, to profit at the top of the cycle. Really interesting. So on that note, then, and, and kind of with that in mind, let's talk about what's going on with EV demand. I'm sure you have to have some kind of forecast or sense for that market uh, as part of your business projections. Have we? What happened this year? How did we go from a market that was so undersupplied last year to a market that very quickly seems to be oversupplied relative to demand, or how would you describe it? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, EV, I think the last few weeks, you've seen a series of news out of some of the car companies sort of slowing down some of their plans. It's a very recent development. I mean, the first half of the year was really terrific for the um, uh, for the EV business. Lithium prices came off all-time highs, but those highs were never thought to be sustainable by anybody in the industry. So I think there was a temporary blip last year where there was insufficient supply, demand demand grew, and that, and that drove lithium prices to probably unsustainable levels. I think we're at risk of doing the opposite now. I mean, at the end of the day, we're still at a point where we need to develop dramatically more lithium projects. In the U.S., we think we're going to need 40 times more domestic lithium by wow. the end of this decade than we produce today, 40 times. It's going to be hard to develop those projects in an environment where lithium prices have fallen, capital costs have risen, and interest rates are up. So I think I think we'll see prices stabilize and begin to rebound, and I, I think they'll continue to be volatile. Um, but in the medium term, for sure, we're very, very bullish.